Hello, Zpelfrain here, and welcome back to Minecraft. Starting right where we left off before in this cave. And I noticed in the last video, a lot of you probably couldn't see very well, so I've turned the brightness up. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. So let's see what's down here. I feel like because I left this open for another episode, there's really going to be nothing down here. We got some lava though. Uh, let's try to sneak in around here. Okay, here's something. Is that another cave? Yeah, it's another cave. You know, the problem is with the brightness up so high, I can't tell which parts I've lit and which parts I haven't now. It all looks fairly even. In terms of lighting right now. Uh, I'll dig through that later. Let's grab this iron here. Okay, is it just a two? Maybe. Let's grab the coal. Never have too much coal. Let's check out that after we get this coal here. Oh, there's 15 levels that are still useless. <coughs> still don't have obsidian. And there goes my pick. So we'll start using this one. After I smelt some of that iron, I can make a bucket and maybe take that lava there. Get a little bit of obsidian. It's down here. Gold. Well, we found something valuable. Let's see. Uh, I've got nothing in my inventory. We've got plenty of space. There's a pretty good gold vein there. Is that eight pieces? Yeah, eight pieces. That's not bad. Let's grab this coal down here, then we'll go back and check the other way. I wonder if the game sounds are still too loud, because that experience is pretty loud. I guess we'll find out. Uh, we haven't seen a whole lot of mobs in here yet, though. So I'm really worried they're all sneaking up behind me. And I'm kind of worried I'm going to dig up under that lava and have it all pour down onto me. It's happened before. I hear a skeleton somewhere. There's a lot of coal here. <clears throat> it's going to be another Let's Mine Coal episode. Oh, there's the skeleton. I see you. Maybe one arrow. There's an arrow in my knee. Took an arrow to the knee. I guess I can't be an adventurer anymore. Oh, I'm low on food again. That's why my health wasn't regenerating. 
I need to make torches. It's probably a horrible spot to make torches. I can't see what's down the cave right now. Some more iron. Oh, this cave keeps going. Okay, we found a good cave then. <laughs> it's a relief. Let's see what else is down here. More iron. There's something over there. Some spiders. So I can get some string from them, assuming they don't swarm me and kill me. And a skeleton. How wonderful. Uh, this may be a little risky, but we're gonna grab this before we go in there. Okay, it's not too much, so... Oh, oh, emeralds right there. I think you can see that. There's gold over there, there's iron everywhere, coal. There's a skeleton over there. Creeper party. Let's go this way to uh, avoid some of that stuff first. And to light up behind us a bit. So when we're in there, we don't have anything sneaking up behind us like that guy to come and shoot us in the back. Anything down here? Yeah, so we'll just grab everything as we come out. What was in here? Some more iron. How much iron do we have? We almost got a full stack of iron. Okay, that branch is clear. <coughs> yeah, so to expand on my caving theory we talked about before of putting the torches on the right, <coughs> I was given the suggestion, uh, let's take care of this guy. It's giving the suggestion to, uh, oh, more iron. When you get into a, a large open space like this, since you can't just put them all on the right because it won't light all of this, just put it on the floor. That'll be a non-directional torch. So the ones on the right wall say you're going down into the cave. But the ones on the floor here are just solely for lighting. It was a tip from Zisto. I'll link him in the description. I don't actually know him, so don't all say Z Pelfrain's that mean, stuff like that. It's like, that's annoying. Just go watch his videos, they're fun. This cave is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Oh, there's water up there. may be a while so let's start grabbing the stuff up here some bats hmm where does this go looks like it goes back up on gravel? Do they make walking noises? Like the squid do? The blaze used to do that too. They'd make walking noises whenever they were too close to the ground. There's 20 levels. 
Even though they don't have feet, and they just kind of float around. It was just how the game was programmed, so they'd make noises every time they came too close to the ground like they were walking on it. That was a little odd. Some dirt here. Cold just keeps going. Get it, it just keeps going. Uh, let's light this up a little more. Last torch again. Oh, this ends right here. <coughs> well, it's a very convenient 3x2 wall there, though. So I feel there's something behind that. Maybe not though, it may just be another wall. We'll find out. Uh, let's make some more torches. Zombie somewhere. No, there's nothing up here. Yeah, we'll just leave that. Head back down here. Let's go back through this branch. These are hard to hit. There's some coal up here. I probably don't even need any more coal right now. I've got three stacks of it. Four and a quarter stacks of it. It's better to have too much now than be looking for it later. A lot of iron. Those emeralds down there, so I'm gonna leave those for now until I get a a fortune pick of some kind. Because I'm greedy and then all the emeralds I can get my hands on. Hmm. That's interesting. It's in an underwater lake. Or pond. So it's not really all that big. Let's grab the iron. Try not to mine underwater because you can't mine very well underwater. As I'll now demonstrate. Get all that coal. Yeah. Let's just block this off then. There's the zombie. Nope, and there's the lake again. Or the pond, whatever you want to call it. Alright, but that's about 15 minutes. So I'm going to leave you guys here. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>